So once we create the form, so we just want to type the user information and post the data into the database. So for that, let me again go to the VS code here and just below here. So we just need to store the information inside the state. So let's make an object for that. So let me just type const and just type user and just type set user. And let me just use the state, use state hook. So we have used this use state hook before as well. So you just need to make sure to import here as well. And you just need to initialize the object. So for that, let me just type user. So just type name and let me just pass the empty name and username and similarly email. So once you do that, so we just need to deconstruct this object as well. So since you can see, we have just made an object by giving the curly braces so we just need to deconstruct this so for that you can just type const and just type name and username and email and just type user and similarly now we just need to link this name with the value so just go into this input here and just type value and inside value just pass the name so this name is coming from here and similarly again just type username here so just type value and just type username and similarly for email just type value and just type email so once you pass the value so here we have just created this object so we just need to pass or put the value inside this name as well so for that we just have to create one function so let me call it const and just type on input change and inside here so i will be creating one event so just type event or you can give any name so i will just type e only and here so we just need to pass this on event change into the on change inside this input so for that just type on change and inside this on change we want to call the on input change function so we won't be calling directly so we will be passing the event so for that just type event so just type curly braces and inside the bracket just type event and inside this event so we will be calling the function on input change so when input is changed it will only be called at that time so just type on input change and let me just pass the event inside here so similarly just do the same thing for all the inputs so let me just copy this one from here and paste inside here and similarly just paste inside email as well and once we pass the on change event and on input change event inside here so just go inside this on input change and we just need to set the user so just type set user and just give the curly braces and inside this so let me just type e dot target dot name and just type e dot target dot value so here since we are giving the name field only so we need to add the spread operator just inside this curly braces so for that just type dot 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 and just type user and just give comma so what this spread operator will do is this will keep on adding the new update so once you do that just save this application and to see the output so what this will do so just go into the application and just right click and just click on inspect and before that you need to make sure to install the react developer tool so for installing just go into the new browser here and just type web store and just go to this first one from chrome.google.com so just go there and just type react and just type developer and just type tool and you just need to add this into your extension so just click on this react developer tool and just click on add to chrome so just click on add extension and let me just go here and pin this extension and let me just close this one from here so now if i just close this one and reload the application and again just open the inspect element so you can see the components and profiler has been added so let me just click on this component and you can see all the components and you can see the add user component which we have created and now if i just go here on this you register user and just type some information so this should display on this state so now if i just type something like origin so you can see so this is showing in name and similarly just type code with origin for username so you can see so this is showing in the state again and just type something like code with at the rate gmail.com so you can see this is again 
storing inside the state in the email as well. So this is how you store the information inside the state.